Switch Lite and Gadget Expand 2013. And uh, we're here with Amundal from Cypheus. So can you tell us what you're showing with me? Well, I'm showing Zephyr. Zephyr is our drone uh, prototype, uh, aquatic drone. It's a completely new gadget uh, that is going to fill a gap that exists for this kind of uh, aquatic uh, toys, basically. What we have here is a very powerful machine that can be controlled by smartphone or tablets. It will be used in the, for Android and the iOS. And uh, we use a Wi-Fi range to control it and uh, to make it very, very fun. We have a camera and the camera can go down and that so we can explore the underwater or we can just play with ducks and things like that. <laughs> okay, inside we have a powerful computer for this size, the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry and Pi. Raspberry Pi. And uh, we have just received uh, this... Uh, is Manda. Their new prototyping Raspberry Pi camera. And uh, with this camera and uh, with this uh, computer inside, this becomes a very powerful machine because we have optimized video, we will have uh, something like uh, 30 frames per second full HD uh, capture inside and very good video stream. Well, let's, uh, I see you've got a swimming pool here. Yeah. Do, you, do you want to show us how powerful. quickly? Be very careful. Or else, you may be... Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Steady! <laughs> here we can control the camera, the tilt camera. Alright, so you, the camera goes up and down? Yes. Okay. Remember, this is not the Raspberry Pi camera still, so the quality is not so good as the one you look at. Alright, so the final version will be even better than this? Much okay. better than this. Much better. I don't think this is good. Mm. Yeah. What, what kind of streaming quality will we, are you looking at? Uh, for the uh, at least half a Gaudi, 30 frames per second. That's what we want to have. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but it can do uh, online uh, onboard video capture. Right. And that we will have like uh, full HD, 30 frames per second too. Mm, good. Then we will have a, an app that can go there by Wi-Fi and get the, the video. Cool. Project. What are your plans for launching to market? Well, uh, we really want to launch this year. Mm. Our uh, initial idea was to see if we could uh, stress the things to maybe to uh, the market in this summer. I don't know if we'll be able to do that, but if it doesn't go in this summer, it will be for the Christmas. Maybe it's not the best gift for uh, the Christmas. Maybe we have to explore more the South Hemisphere, but uh, for the, but that's it. It's always be, uh, Australia. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's always a very interesting gift. Uh, beside all these uh, funny applications, uh, we start to see there are some vertical markets that could be very interesting in this kind of stuff. For example, we have uh, the interest of some uh, fishermen that see that this could be a good thing to help them to find where the fish are so they can uh, fish them. Other opinions like the, the guys from the environmental stuff and the photographers and the scuba dive, surf, and everyone starts to think how oh, they could use this for their activities and not just to play. Right, like yeah. A, a regular. So, final question what kind of price point will you be looking at? Well, our price is not, still not defined, yeah. but sure. uh, we are thinking about uh, 200 to. to, to, handle, to 250 dollars. No, so that's the range. Excellent. And that's one of the interesting things about this because uh, we want to do a mass market product with a low cost. And uh, there are nothing like this for water because water is really a very complicated medium. All, everything that we can see with this kind of uh, performance for water is much, much more expensive. And we want to democratize the use of this kind of uh, toys and water. Cool. Well, thank you very much for your time, Vondo, okay. and uh, we look forward to your CPS.